Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! Garcias, oh, you, you, you shook my goddamn guts out. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm, I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. I knew I could count on you, brother. This is not over, Joe. I have friends here. Allies. Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. I, I watch you play all the time. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. It's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Ooh! 
Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Don't blame that on me. Gotta pay attention. Oh, the batting cage is serious business. You're about the last person who should be telling people about serious business, Hobby. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild! I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David. David, knock off the tantrum. Grow up. You just can't resist making your little digs, can you? Once again, it's Javi the star thinking he's better than me. That's gonna change. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. I'm just... I'm sick of your attitude, David. You love to mock me. But you have no idea what I deal with. My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Hey, you know what? Yeah, do what you need to do. The army could be good for you. I was expecting more of an argument. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. No, the kids are too young for you to leave them. You gotta be around to, you know, coach them on stuff. What the hell do you know about raising children, Javi? I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. About time you grew up. Come on. I want to get out of here now. Get in there, you two. Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them and that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Ugh. This is bad. What are we going to do? I never trusted Joan. I didn't think she'd turn on me like this. David, hey. I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. Joan lied. You couldn't have anticipated that. It was a sneak attack. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. You're still a hero to Gabe. 
There's still a lot you can teach him. This world needs all the heroes it can find. That's my boy. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They gotta survive, no matter what. You don't have to worry. They're safe for now. We have to get them out of town. Both of us. You're right. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. We can beat this. Together. So glad to see you boys getting along. Armed escort? You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. Your scheme is gonna blow up in your face. You just wait. I really hope not. I'm responsible for the lives of everyone in this community. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. No time to rest. That doesn't look very sturdy. Pipe looks loose. Been a long time since I hit the showers. Oh, and I could use one. Too bad there's no running water in here. Well, that's about the kind of day I'm having. come loose. Ugh, nothing useful here. Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench.
That's not gonna work. Could squeeze through there. I've been looking everywhere for you. Gabe? Where did they take Dad? I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. I can't do it. Can you help? Nice work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. This way. Come on. Kate didn't want to stay at Dad's house. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. She sent me to find you. While they hide out. Is Eleanor's place safer? I don't know. Safe enough, I guess. Trip's there. He wouldn't let anything happen to her. We should probably keep moving. I can't believe you found me. I looked everywhere. Huh. Nice work. Thank you. They've still got your dad, though. He's gonna be okay, right? I mean, these are his people. They're just arguing, aren't they? They wouldn't do anything to him. He's negotiating with them now. He'll work it out. Let's just see what happens, okay? All clear. Come on. Kate keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. We can't leave Dad here. Not after we found him again. I'll talk to her. I'll try to convince her. Good. It's important. Hold up. Everything's gone wrong here, hasn't it? We should be safe in this town. You shouldn't be a prisoner. We'll fix it for us. When we get your dad back and our family back together. Okay. That's Eleanor's place. We made it. Great. Let's get in there. Oh, that was close. Yeah. This wasn't so busy before. What are they up to? Come on. Let's get inside.
thing. I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Look. I just don't know. Show me that I'm good at helping people. I can do that here. But I can't you do it. Still pissed at me? Just I'm shut up while I'm hugging you. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> well, where have you been? Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We just can't trust Joan. She's trying to remove David from power by pinning murders on him. Told you we couldn't trust him. I'm sorry about what's going on with David, but we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. There's too much unfinished business here. Javi. Sorry, we can't leave yet. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh, holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Look at that. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. At least we're all still together. Look, this isn't a glass half full situation. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. He's my brother, Kate. I have to. Okay. We have to rescue David. Damn straight we do. And we might have to face those muertos. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. You know what I mean? You're being an idiot. Now isn't the right time for this. You just don't understand. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. With all that's going on here, everybody's feeling overwhelmed. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh-huh. Right. Okay. Good luck out there. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Like, stay cool, buddy.
Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool? I've done this before, Hobby. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? Yeah, I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? I trust her enough for right now, and that's what's important. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone, other than you and Kate, Mariana, and what I remembered of my dad. Through their actions, they can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. Ava said it'd be this way. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance.
away from you! Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. Oh, damn it, Gabe. Does it fucking look like I'm okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually, in much worse conditions. You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it, it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard. Dr. Lingard. Can you hear me? Does he look like he can hear you? <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! Wow. That guy is really out of it.
Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Here we go. Just pills. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural-born mother. It's a butterfly! <laughs> Goofball, want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. How about... Bark, bark! <laughs> Down, boy. <laughs> That's a pretty good dog. Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Just a second, goofball. Voila. Hey, get away from him. Is he okay? You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. You've done as much for AJ as I have. Rebecca would be grateful for you, too. Yeah, but you're the only mama he's got. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It brings out the best in us. I felt it with Lee. Yeah, he was a good man. Well, 
I could have treated him better. I know that now. Ooh. Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking. It's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. Anywhere is better than here. I don't think I can stand another day of snow. We'll find you a playmate in no time, kid. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just... happy? Huh. First time in a while. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. How about this one, little man? We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. You have to give AJ back, please. He needs me. I need him. That's just not gonna happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now... You're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. 
You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. I can make it on my own, just like I always have. I don't need anybody else. I don't blame you. Just don't overestimate what you're actually capable of. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head. Helping me. Guiding me. He's still with you, you know. Here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. I know you said you'd get by on your own, but if you find yourself needing supplies, or just someone to talk to, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Glenn. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one... Sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem is AJ's family. No kid is better off when you break their family apart. Maybe you're right. Maybe AJ should be with Clem. All I know is that he's better than he was when he got here. No thanks to you or David. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is?
What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <clears throat> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ. Just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. <laughs> 